She rubbed her hands together, then reached out to the right, rolling her fingers over the floating ball control of the inertial compensator. Strap in, she ordered, and she dialed it down to 95% as the fighter pilots often did so that they could gain the tactical feel to the movements of the ships. Reading the G's, Jaina had heard it called, and she always preferred flying that way, where fast turns and mightly acceleration could push her back in her seat. Not too much, Leia said with concern, but her daughter was in her element now, Leia knew, and she pushed the shuttle to its limits. Leia felt the lean as Jaina veered right, angling away from the approaching ships. If you run, we shoot you down came the, the uneven voice of Grappa. Z-95 headhunters, Mara said deri derisively of the closing craft at antiquated starcraft, uh, star riders, and she flipped off the comm switch and looked back at Leia. Can't shoot what you can't catch, she explained. Kick him in, she added to Jaina, motioning to the primary thrusters thinking that a burst of the powerful engines would shoot the jade saber right past the befuddled Rodians and their outdated starfighters. Even as she spoke, though, two more blips appeared on the sensors, streaking out from the shadows around Ramamool, angling right in line with the jade saber. Mera, said, Leia said with concern. At that, Mera did reach for the controls, but the, but for only a moment. And then she looked, Jaina right in the eye and nodded for the young woman to proceed. Leia lurched forward in her seat, held back only by the belt, as Jaina reversed throttle and kicked the ex, the etheric rottle right. There, there came a metallic thump behind them, C-3PO hitting the wall, Leia guessed. Even as the Jade Saber came to a sudden halt, nose turned starboard, Jaina pumped him out of full throttle and kicked the rattle back to the left, then hard right, fish tailing the ship about in a brutal 180, then working the rattle hard and somewhat choppy in straightening, straightening out her direct retreat. As they turned, a laser cannon blast cost, cut across their bow. All right. The first four are on our tail, Mera instructed calmly. The Jade Saber jolted, hit aft, a blow of shields easily held back. Try a Mera started to say, but she lost the words and nearly her lunch, as Jaina pulled a snar, a snap roll right, and then another right behind it. Oh, well, I'll be killed, came C-3O cry. C-3PO's cry from the doorway, and Leia managed to turn her head to see the droid leaning in against the metal jamb, and then to see him fly away with a pitiful cry as Dana kicked the aesthetic, aesthetic rudder again, putting the ship into another southern fishtail. A pair of headhunters streaked past the view screen, but just for a split second, Jaina vector away at a different angle, and the single engine full throttle pressing Leia back in her seat. Leia wanted to say something to Jaina, then some words of encouragement or advice, but found her words stuck in her throat, and not for any G-forces. It was the sight of Jaina, the fire in her brown eyes, the determined set of her jaw, the sheer con concentration. At that moment, Leia knew, Leia, Leia knew her daughter was a woman now, and with all the grit of her father and mother combined. Mare J glanced over her right shoulder between Jaina and Leia and both followed her lead, long enough to see that the two of the initial four had altered course accordingly and were fast closing, laser cannons blasting away. Hold on, a confident Jaina warned, and they pulled back the stick, lifting the jade saber nose, then shoved it forward, dropping the shuttle into a sudden inverted loop. We're doomed, C-3PO cried from the hallway, the hallway ceiling, Leia knew. Halfway around, Jaina broke the loop with a snap roll, then kicked her into a fishtail and a barrel roll, bringing her about to nearly their original course, but with the initial four behind them. Now, 
she did kick in both ion drives, as if to use sheer speed to split the gap between the two incoming fighters. Both angled out suddenly, then turned back in, widening the escape route by giving them a longer shooting angle at the shuttle and an easier turn to purse. Uh, an easy in turn to pursue. They're good, Mera warned, but like Leia, she found her words lost in her throat as Jaina. Teeth greeted, greeted to fight back the G's. Reverse throttle. Princess! The plentitive cry from the corridor ended up dripped abruptly in a loud crash. Coming in hot, Mayor cried. Noting the fighter fast approaching to port, Jaina didn't, couldn't even hear her. She had turned inward now, was feeling the force cursing, cursing through the, throughout her, was registering even movements of her enemies and reacting instinctively, playing the game three moves ahead. Before Mera had even begun to speak, Jaina had hit the forward altitude adjustment jets. Lifting the nose, then she pumped the throttle and kicked the rudder, lifting the jade saber and bringing her nose about to starboard to directly face the other incoming headhunter. And that eager Rodian did come in at them, and hard, and the jade saber defensive array screeched and lit up, warning a lock on. Jaina, Leia cried, he's got us. Mera added, but then the closer ship coming from port passed right under the jade saber and Jaina fired the repulsor lifts, bouncing the jade saber up and sending the poor head hunter into a wild spinning roll. The closing ship was from starboard let fly its concussion missile, but it and the hunter Headhunter zipped right underneath the elevated Jay Saber. Before the three women could, women could even begin to catch their breath, another ship streaked in. An X-Wing, the new XJ version of the Starfighter, its own laser cannons blasting away from its wingtips. Not at the Jay Saber, though, but at the Headhunter that had just gone past. Who is that? Leia asked, and Jaina, equally curious, brought the Jade Saber about hard. The headhunter snap roll left and dived, but the far superior X-Wing stayed on her, lasers scoring hit after hit, depleting her shields and then blasting her apart into a million pieces. A Jedi, Mary and Jade sat together and Leia, when she paused to collect her four sensations about her, concurred. Fast to the medi mediator, Leia instructed her daughter, and Jaina swung the jade saber about yet again. I didn't know there were any Jedi in this sector, Leia said to Mera, who could only shrug equally at a loss. Another one's out, Jaina informed them, watching the blips on her sensor screen, and two others are vectoring away. They want no part of a Jedi showing a willingness to shoot back. Mera remarked. Maybe Rodians are smarter than I thought, Leia said dryly. Smooth it out. She instructed her daughter, and unbuckling and climbing unsteadily to her feet, Jaina reluctantly dialed the in inertia compensator back to full. Only one per pursuing. Only one pursuing. Jaina informed them as Leia added her way to the door. As Leia made the way her way to the door. The X-Wing, Mera added, and Leia nodded. In the ha hallway outside the bridge, Leia found C-3PO inverted and against the wall, his feet sticking up in the air, his head crushed forward so that his chin was tight against his chest. You have to learn to hold on, said Leia said to him, helping him upright. She glanced across the way to Balfour, 